a subset of the form of gender bias that we call unconscious images is this. It's who gets automatic or presumed credibility and who has to earn it. And it's as simple as this. Most of us, when we hear a statement by someone who speaks the Queen's English, educated English, we tend to presume that they're intelligent and educated. Whereas I could say the same thing in West Kentucky twang. I could say the identical words, but I would not be given the credibility if I spoke the Queen's English. I had to earn that credibility. And the way this shows up in gender is, again, we tend to associate leadership with the masculine voice, literally the masculine voice. And so in meetings, the masculine voice often carries and women get talked over or their ideas get seconded by a man and he gets applauded for the idea, it's because we presume credibility for that masculine voice. Again, we just need to become aware of it and realize we've talked over Sue. We've missed out on what Sue has to offer. Or Sue has to get a little pushy and say, excuse me, I'm not finished. Or she has to say, that's what I said two minutes ago.